Hi there, and welcome to The Understudy. My name is Philippa, and this is workday two of Freeing the Natural Voice by Kristen Linklater. Before watching this part, I recommend you go to the first one and go through the whole sequence there. I just did, and I feel like I'm floating. <laughs> but if you have done that, then let's jump right into it. Step one, repeat the physical awareness exercises. Rediscover the tree that supports you, its roots and branches. This can be done in the previous video. Step 2. Stand easily with a long spine and relaxed muscles and allow your awareness to move inward and down so that your focus rests deep inside the center of your body. Tune in to the small movements that are happening as breath enters and leaves your body. Allow your involuntary breathing rhythm to tell you what it is. Let your breath tell you what it wants from you. Consciously, all you can do is keep releasing tension from your stomach area, your shoulders, and your belly. Be aware of the breath moving your body, rather than your body moving the breath. Remember that your natural breathing rhythm may not be in your familiar breathing rhythm. Explore the breathing process. The outgoing breath is complete inner relaxation. The incoming breath will happen automatically if you wait. Step 3. Let the breath release out of you. Wait, but don't hold your muscles until you feel the need for a new breath. Yield to that need. Let the breath be replaced. Do not actively breathe in. Let the breath release again. Relax into a small internal pause. As soon as you feel, deep inside, the tiny impulse of need, give in to it and allow the new breath in. Repeat the mental processes of step three, observing but not controlling the reflex actions deep inside your body. Let the breath release out. Wait without holding your breath. Allow the breath in. Immediately let the breath out. Wait with your muscles completely relaxed. Allow the breath in. Immediately release the breath out. Wait. Allow the breath in. Continue with this observation for two or three minutes. Step 4. Continue the breathing awareness from step 3, adding your awareness of whether you are breathing through your mouth or your nose. 
If through the latter, let your mouth drop open so that you are breathing through your mouth, not through your nose. Don't open wide, just open wide enough to allow the breath to pass through. If your mouth is relaxed, the outgoing breath should automatically arrive in a small somewhere between the top teeth and the lower lip or directly between the two lips. Lick your lips and feel the cool incoming air passing over them and then feel the warmth of the outgoing air. The warm outgoing breath will pass through your wet lips forming a loose Step 5. Continue the awareness of your natural breathing rhythm. Now picture the diaphragm moving upward as the breath releases out and falling downward as the breath drops in. Your diaphragm is a large, domed muscle that forms the floor of your lungs and the ceiling to your stomach and intestines. Its edges are attached at the bottom of your ribcage. You cannot tell the diaphragm how it should move. It is not an active muscle under the control of your conscious mind. But you can influence it by picturing its movements accurately. With your mouth just open, allow small on each outgoing breath. Feel that your breath and your observing mind are both in the same place, the center of your body. Make sure that you are not split in two, with part of you sitting up in your head, commenting on or controlling what is happening from there. You and your breathing are one and the same thing. When your breath releases, you release. When you and your breath release out, your diaphragm releases upward through your ribcage. When you and your breath are renewed, the dry diaphragm drops downward, opening the lungs. Both the movement up and the movement down can be experienced as release in the diaphragm. Let each outgoing breath contain a feeling of a willing escape. Your escape from inside yourself to the outside world. Each incoming breath should be a feeling of welcome renewal. Expiration and inspiration live in the continuous cycle of natural rhythm of breathing. Now feed your middle the impulse for a gentle sigh of relief. No sound, just breath. Observe how your breathing reacts to the stimulus of a simple, easy feeling of relief. You will find that more breath comes in in response to the impulse and that more breath releases out on a longer as the relief pours out. Keep your mouth relaxed. Again, consciously decide to feel a sigh of relief. Observe the reaction in the involuntary breathing musculature and in the movement of the diaphragm. Again, feed in the impulse for a sigh of relief. Feel the relief go deeper inside your body, perhaps as far down as the pelvic floor. Release the relief and the breath as one. Relax inside. Allow the breath to be replaced. Step 6. Stand at ease and float one arm up from your side until it makes a straight line out from your shoulder, parallel to the ground and at right angles to your body. Ask yourself the question. What keeps my arm up in the air against the pull of gravity? It is the mind that is telling the arm to stay up in the air. Now tell yourself, I'm going to take my mind out of my arm. It becomes apparent that when the mind lets go of the arm, the arm drops because of gravity. Now carefully observe the attributes of that drop. The drop will be sudden, uncontrolled, and the arm will hit the side of your body with some force. The observation shows that when the mind lets go and gravity takes over, energy is released. 
Your job is now to transfer that experience to the sigh of relief. Feed in an impulse for a deep, pleasurable sigh of relief that seems to hold in it as much potential as your arm filling up against the pull of gravity. If you find a sigh of relief elusive, imagine a situation in which something bad was about to happen but was averted. Feel the resultant relief deep into your breathing area and feel breath being drawn in. Now take your mind out of that breathing area. Breath will release an equivalent energy to that released when you when your arm dropped to your side. The sigh happens as a result of letting go. Its energy sends the diaphragm flying up through your ribcage. Gravity can teach your mind how to let go. Now float your arm just halfway up toward your shoulder, about 15 inches or at a 45 degree angle. Ask yourself the question, what is keeping my arm up against the force of gravity? The answer is the same, my mind. Take your mind out of your arm. Your arm will drop suddenly, giving in to gravity. It will hit your side, but with only half the force experienced when it dropped from your shoulder. Transfer this experience to a sigh of relief that is now medium size. A medium size impulse of relief enters the body mind, bringing with it a medium sized amount of air. And when it lets go, it releases a medium sized gust of air. But it is still a letting go. The energy release is still sudden and not controlled by conscious musculature. The diaphragm still flies up, but not so far. Finally, float your hand off, up off your wrist, leaving your arm by your side. Ask yourself the question, what is keeping my hand up against the force of gravity? The answer is the same, my mind. Take your mind out of your hand. Your hand will drop from your wrist, suddenly, giving in to gravity. It will tap the side of your body with a delicate energy that is free of conscious control. Transfer this experience to a tiny, central sigh of relief. However small and interior this breath is, it goes out with a release, relief, or letting go. Step 7. Lying on your back, let your whole body give in to gravity. Send your mind into the soles of your feet and think of relaxing your toes and feet so that they appear to drop away from your ankles. Imagine your ankle joints are filled with air. Let your calf muscles relax so that the flesh, skin, and muscle seem to dissolve off the shin bones. Imagine your knee joints filled with air. Let your thigh muscles relax so that the flesh, skin, and muscle seem to dissolve off the thigh bones. Imagine your hip joints and thigh sockets filled with air so that your legs do not seem to be attached to your torso. Let your buttock muscles, pelvic muscles, groin, and lower belly muscles dissolve and melt. Be aware of your spine giving in to gravity from the tailbone to the skull. Let the small of your back relax, but realize that there is a natural curve there. Don't try to flatten it out. Let the whole stomach area melt, dissolve, and relax. Picture the area between your shoulder blades spreading away from your spine to either side. Imagine the rib bones as soft as the belly. Let them give in to gravity and release into breath. Picture the torso releasing along and across the floor. Imagine your shoulder sockets filled with air so that your arms seem hardly to be attached to your torso. Be aware of the weight of your arms and hands, heavy and abandoned on the floor. Be aware of your fingers. Let your attention travel back up your arms, through your shoulders and into your neck. Let your neck spine give into gravity 
but realize there is a natural curve in these top seven vertebrae. Don't try to flatten it. Let your throat relax. Feel the weight of your head on the floor. Let the jaw muscles relax right beside your ears so that your teeth are not clenched. Let the tongue relax inside the mouth so that it is not clamped to the roof of the mouth. Be aware of your face muscles and let them melt so that the skin of your face feels heavy on the bones. Let the cheeks relax and the lips, the forehead, the eyelids. Let the scalp, scalp muscles relax. Now let your attention sweep back down through your whole body, abandoned on the floor. Imagine you could melt down through the floor. Take a little time to enjoy this sensation. Now, become aware that in the middle of the stillness of your completely relaxed body, there is an inevitable, involuntary movement as your breath enters and leaves you. Let your mouth drop open, lick your lips, feel the cool air being drawn in from outside, traveling down to the center of your torso, then feel it being released from there, warm to escape again to the outside. Flop a hand onto your breathing area so that you feel from outside a reflection of what is happening inside. Notice that on the outgoing breath, the area under your hand falls toward the ground as the abdominal wall drops. Now, feed a huge, deep sigh of relief far down into your body. Imagine the relief moving down into your groin, moving the pelvic floor, and then let the feeling and your breath fall out of you with abandon. The breathing area now extends below the navel, the lower belly, as well as the abdominal wall. It seems to move in response to the side. Now that you're on the floor, observe the movement of the diaphragm in all these impulses as it releases toward your pelvis, as the breath enters, and as it rushes through the rib cage as the breath releases out. Explore varying degrees of strength in the casual impulse feeding into the breathing center. First, the natural breathing rhythm exchanges to a small, contented sigh then to a larger grateful sigh, and finally, to a huge, deep sigh of relief. Use your imagination to create situations to stimulate appropriately the differing intensities of the sighs. Relax back to natural breathing. Step eight, slowly, with complete physical awareness of your skeletal activity and muscular relaxation, rise from the floor to a standing position. Let your head be the last part of your body to rise. As you stand upright, see how much you can retain of the physical sensations you experienced while on the floor. For instance, imagine the floor is still supporting your back. Leave your stomach muscles as sloppy as they were when you were lying down. Imagine the force of gravity is behind you and let the abdominal wall fall toward it on the outgoing breath. Observe the natural rhythm of your breathing. Observe any differences between breathing lying down and standing up. Observe that the diaphragm now moves vertically rather than horizontally. Observe any differences there might be between your breathing now and the last time you were aware of it while standing. Where specifically in your body do you feel movement in response to breath? In your ribs, back, sides, belly, groin, internally, externally? 
What feels better than before? What feels worse? How do you feel? From where is the breath releasing? Where is it going? Can you feel or picture the diaphragm dropping when the breath enters and then whooshing up through the rib cage when the breath releases out? Do you feel more awake? Do you feel sleepy? Do you feel confused? Have you found anything new? Practice. Do your spine and breathing exercises for two or three days. Be aware of any tension and make the decision to relax. Notice how your breathing responds to the events of your day. Notice moments when your breathing holds and why. Notice how you feel when you relax and breathe naturally. Make use of your friend, the sigh of your leaf. Make notes of your observations.